The Fresno County Office of Education is much bigger than a fiscal oversight agency. Uh, I think many of us look at it and say, oh, that's your role. You know, you're there to make sure that the districts are financially sound, that they can continue to grow and flourish with the money that is coming to them, and, and we're that protection agency. But we're so much bigger than that. We have children um, that have very specialized medical needs, and so some of our children actually have nurses um, available to them. Our teachers are amazing. They are so caring and so giving. I think the most important thing is that they have to have an attitude that every child is learning and never, ever give up. Um, just because you come in and you teach a lesson and they're not, the child isn't able to express what they've learned does not mean that they didn't learn. When you look at the number of kids that are in juvenile hall or expelled or on probation, kids that we serve from the Fresno County Office of Education, it's about 600 students. These kids are not throwaways. We have students who enter the juvenile justice campus that may have made one big, huge mistake, and they find themselves here. We look at this as an opportunity, okay, you're here. Let's focus on you. Let's get you back on track with school. I haven't had a single graduation yet that our students don't stand up there and say, had it not been for the judge or the police officer or the probation officer or the counselor in here or the teachers in here, I would not graduate today. We're a service provider. You know, we exist because we have school districts that have 70,000 students, and we have school districts that have 50 students. Well, when you have these small districts out there, they're required to do the same amount of work in terms of what's, what they're obligated to do from the state's uh, perspective, but yet they don't have the people to do it. That's where our office steps in. We help them. We have 30 uh, of the districts in Fresno County that we serve uh, in their after school programs. We have a total of 137 school sites and we serve 30,000 of the district's children every day. We're taking every advantage from before school to after school programs to have an impact on a child's life. We have to move the needle academically, but we have to do so in a way that kids voluntarily want to be there. If you put the right young people in place and you engage them with amazing program, there's not a kid that wouldn't want to be there, and we've proven that. Let's go, Alyssa, come on now, you're almost there. We believe all students can learn. We believe all students can be successful. Some students need a little bit more guidance and assistance than others. These kids are us a few years ago, and I believe they can make it. We just have to work with all the adults around them to help them make it. We want to make sure that while we have students in a mandatory program in K-12, we provide as many opportunities for them to develop their skills and talents and abilities and self-knowledge that we can. When you look at our graduation rates and our attendance rates and our ability to keep kids engaged in school and on track, we have lots of research that shows career tech ed classes are oftentimes the only thing that keep a kid in school. You know, we believe that it doesn't matter big, small districts, every kid should have an opportunity. They choose to, to be part of a band, be part of a choir, be part of theater. We really believe that the arts are the best at-risk intervention program that money can buy. You know, the arts increase student attendance, they increase engagement, they increase uh, parent involvement in the school, they increase test scores, they result in um, uh, better grades. Really, the arts are something that can turn kids' lives around. And fortunately, at the Fresno County Office of Education, folks recognize that. The arts are embraced as a part of a student's whole education.
We have so many kids in the rural districts that don't have access to transportation, don't have access to health services, don't have access to, to libraries, to preschools. Providing migrant students that access to things that they would never otherwise have just drives me to want to do more, find the money, find the resources to make it happen. Without Fresno County support, a lot of these programs would not be happening out in those communities. I think that professional learning is so incredibly important because we have to keep informed about who we're serving. The kids that walk through our door are so different than the kids that walk through two, three, five, ten, twenty years ago. So if we wait to do the professional learning, if we wait to learn new information, it might be too late. We might have missed an opportunity. And so that's why I want to continue to provide learning to our teachers and our leaders so that they believe that same thing, that they have a, a growth mindset and they understand and believe in any student that walks in that door. It doesn't matter where they're coming from or what their socioeconomic background is. At the Fresno County Office of Education, we have so many departments that work in conjunction to provide services for all of the students and staff of Fresno County. And what the Special Projects Department does is we hold fantastic events that are able to spotlight and highlight and shine that bright light on all that's right in education. We really believe that education is preparation for life and that by partnering with our business community, we're positioned well to be able to share this responsibility of, of raising and educating our students. Parent involvement is very important, but more importantly, parent engagement, because when parents are engaged, they understand the dynamics of their kids go through on a daily basis. What we're trying to do is we're trying to teach parents that you need a home that is conducive to learning. You need to reinforce what the teacher is teaching your child so that way learning can take place. The atmosphere here is so positive and that's what we take out into the community, a positive atmosphere. And listen, this is, we're not going out there uh, talking about, uh, you know, it's going to all be good. We say it's going to be good if you put that work in. That's why I admire our teachers and the work that they do. Because it's not just about one plus one is two. It's about people wanting to make a difference. And I really believe that people in this department in Fresno County in general want to make a difference in lives because we see the impact. And it's the possibility, the, the endless possibility and the belief that there is a better world. So many of our kids are in, living in poverty and they struggle to survive. And those kids are, they're hopeful for us every day. They can't wait to walk into our classrooms and to see us on the campus, and we are their light. And if anybody's going to help them get out of their situation, it's us. I am uh, proud to say this and would say it to anyone. Uh, I've never been in an organization where people care like this, never. I believe that for too long that we've pointed fingers at everyone around this community. Who's to blame here? Why are kids dropping out of school? Why aren't they coming to school every day? I say that, you know, it's time to stop pointing fingers and it's time for this community to say, look, we value every child that lives in Fresno County. Everyone in this community needs to step forward and get involved with changing the lives of our students, not just schools, all of us.